Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I have another Etsy shop share from one of my favorite shops, which is um, Pamela's shop. And Pamela, you know, is the hippie gypsy here on YouTube. Um, so I will definitely leave, leave a link to both her YouTube channel as well as her shop in the uh, description box below. But I am so super excited for this haul because let me show you why. Um, I, oh, oh, I see goodies. Okay, hold on, hold on. So let's just go through this really quick. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so she sent along some more of these little buttons. I bought these from her before. Um, and these ones are actually different sizes too. See, she makes like these paper buttons. And um, these ones are like all book page ones. Um, I bought from her before the book page ones, as well as like these like little botanical ones that she cut out of... Um, you know, book pages that had uh, flowers on them and stuff. But they're so perfect to put um, in like clusters, collages, anything like that. And she makes two holes in the middles of them. I don't know if you can see that on camera, right there and there. So that way, um, well, what I've been doing is sewing them on. So I just use embroidery thread and I just put it through each of the holes and then I tie it and then just cut it after the knot. And it looks really neat. So Pamela, thank you for those because I always have, I've been using them. I actually see, here's the ones that I have. I have them on my desk because I've been using them in a lot of my projects lately. So this is what I ordered, but I want to see this. What is this? Oh, this is my note. Hold on. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so this looks like a little scrappy notebook. Neat. I've never made a notebook with different size pages. And I've seen people do it, um, but to actually have one here with me and I'm able to flip through it, it's neat. It is so cool that all the pages, you know, like they're different sizes. So if you're journaling, it, it'd be like a fun little journal adventure. And then here's the cover that she made with the little Tim Holtz uh, uh, paper dolls. And then it looks like we have some um, cheesecloth, some music paper behind there, and some washi underneath there. I want to try doing a scrappy notebook like this. I might start off small and do it as like a little um, something to tuck in a tuck spot in one of my journals. But I've been really curious. And it really, I guess it doesn't matter. You can just grab you know several pages and kind of fold them all together and see what happens but I like the different layers and the different look of all the different types of papers in there so I definitely want to have a little try with that I love this paper <laughs> really pretty and it says some paper ruffle there so yeah so this is definitely something I have to uh, give a try at now this, this is what I've been dying for. So when she sends me um, some happy mail, actually a couple of times, there was always a little um, one of these. Uh, usually, I, I know one time it was on some laces that she, actually, you know what? Do I have it right here? I do, I have it close. Um, see, she used, oh. I'm not even a camera. She used it to uh, do a bunch of laces together, and I love that. And I think in one of my last videos, I said, you know, Pamela, if you ever uh, feel like making some and putting them in your shop, I would definitely be interested, and I'm sure a lot of other people would be as well. And look what she did. So what it is, is like, there's this muslin, I think, or some sort of fabric. Um, I could be wrong, it might not be muslin, but then she stamped on it, and then it looks like with cardstock, or even like you could do it with like the file folder material, um, fold it over and sew the paper on, put an eyelid in it, and then you put a little um, bulb pin. But isn't that neat? And then you can attach it to whatever you want um, in, the, in the journal that you're making. So I'm so super excited that she has these now um, in her shop. 
and there's all different stamps like we have a typewriter a teacup a bird cage and they're different sizes too the crown the clock um what is that the eiffel tower i think oh and look the bird oh i love that the birds the chair but because it's stamped in black it just gives it this real like i don't know vintage i don't know type look look at that one we have the flowers there and the key love that and yeah i really do love the fact that they're all different sizes so i guess also depending on the stamp oh look a little motorcycle like these obviously they would be longer then we have smaller ones that are shorter because you know depending on what project you're using them in um you know you might only have room for something smaller or you might want to put it on a page where you want it to be kind of like the focal point so you'd want something bigger Oh, so we have a couple different types of keys. We have that one and we have that one. So that's neat. I really like the flower one. Oh, look at butterfly. Awesome. And here's the, oh, I always forget what the name of that is. But I'm sure you guys know. And a quill tipped pen. Oh gosh. So this is what I went to her shop for. Now I'm so excited. I have a bunch of them for myself. So awesome. So Pamela, thank you so much for putting these in your shop and also for the extra little goodies. I do, I so do appreciate it because you know me, I will definitely be using them. So guys, um, definitely go over to her YouTube channel and watch her videos um, and also take a little peek around her Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to both of them in the description box below. So that is my little share on my little uh, Etsy haul from Pamela, the hippie gypsy. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.